I feel like the guys over at Fresh and Fit or Andrew Tate or whatever, they talk about being a better man, and what they really are doing is increasing their value so that a woman doesn't hold that value over them. And that's the issue I kind of have with it because it's not about fixing yourself for you. It seems like I'm going to become a better man so that I'll never have well, to. I don't have to put up with this shit. With this Which shit. is, let's be honest, that's the same thing that um, uh, Harvey Weinstein did. Yo, what's up, Squid Pimp Brigade? On this episode, we have social media influencer Chris Cares None. Uh, he's here to discuss the red pill, history of the red pill, fresh and fresh. My boy Sneeko, can you balance women, money, and health, and the flaw with pickup artists? Yeah, that's right. It's a really good episode. And uh, if you love the show, you can also uh, support us over at patreon.com slash manschool202, because that's where we do uh, the bonus content on the show. And this week's bonus content, uh, we continue our conversation with Chris Karznan as we uh, talk more about the fit, uh, fresh and fit stuff, uh, the validity of the red pill movement, the benefits of uh, just being nice, and also what it takes to be a great storyteller. Uh, all that's over at patreon.com slash manschool202, where we do all the extra coverage, including listener mail. And uh, also, if you want to uh, support us, you can uh, sign up for a consultation. Uh, if you want advice, you can hit me up at advicefromharry at gmail.com, and that's where I can set up times and give you the rates for consultations to fix your uh, sex, relationships, anything. Life advice, all of it, over at uh, advicefromharry at gmail.com. And Dante, if they want to reach you, consultation at dantenero.com. Click on consult. There we go. All right, guys, enjoy the show. I'm not an alpha male, I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. The deal, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited, as I always am. And uh, this is a special show. Now, I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I mean it. Finally. Um, first First and foremost, uh, what's going on, Harry? You ready to rock and roll? Uh, absolutely ready to rock and roll. I'm, I'm up here lead, leading a great life, and then now I got to fit in rock and roll and into this. It's written down in my calendar. Rock and roll is in? Rock okay. and rolling for this week's podcast. Do, do list? All right, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, it's always on there. You want to do the intro? I mean, That's I'm right. a fan right. of the show. Not just, yeah, not and just. And a friend of the family. A friend. Friend of the family, uh, I guess, how would you, I mean, you define him as many things, an influencer, I guess he's an influencer now, and he's doing it the right way uh, on Instagram, TikTok, and so much more. Give it up for Chris Cares Not, everybody. Hey, what's up, you guys? What up, baby? How you doing? I'm doing really good, man. It's been a while, man. How y'all been doing? I'm good. I'm good. Can you, uh, I can't remember, how long ago did you do the show? Before? Uh, what, a year and a half, maybe two? It might be a year be, and a half. Why? It be before... COVID though, right? It was during COVID. It was, it was in the thick COVID. of COVID. During yeah. COVID, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So, what's been going on with you? What's been going on? How's this channel doing? How's your podcast doing? What's what's up? What's the name of the podcast? So the, it's called the Cares None Be Dope Podcast. Okay. And and uh, like I said before, I don't know if you remember, but you guys are a huge influence on everything that I do. And I know you hear that. I've, I've heard the last like 10 episodes y'all y'all put out. And so I know it's still kind of weird when you hear that sometimes, but it's, mm -hmm. I'm a grown man. I'm telling y'all it's the facts. Okay. I feel you. I mean, it's what if it is what it is, what it is, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you know, one of the, one of the things, one of the principles that we espouse is truth. And if it's truth, you got to take that. I, I, um, it's funny because I was talking to somebody. Um, I was doing a consultation the other day, and a guy was saying to me, you know, because uh, I went out to uh, the comedy festival, and there was a bunch of people out there who were fans of the show, and um, kind of more more fans of the Black Phillips show. Like, uh, still a lot of fans, you know, comedy fans of Patrice, who who, you know who still espouse and listen to the black Phillip show and they, you know, and they, and they, and they listen to us now. Just, I think that the, I think it was so impactful, the stuff that we did with Patrice at that time, because I mean, and we were talking about this on the other episode the other day is that we, we kind of birthed the whole red pill, the whole red pill community, you know, um, I think in a lot of ways it's gone left 
since then. But, uh, you know, well, actually, you know, I actually wanted to bring that up because I know you you guys had mentioned fresh and fit. I actually think you called it fit and fresh, but I think yeah. it's, it's fresh and fit. Uh, yeah. And and I do. I, they're actually entertaining. And I and, and a lot of times a lot of people in the comments will mention your name a lot. Like y'all need really. To get, yeah, I've even done it a few times. Like y'all need to get Dante in them all. Um, what I, and I do watch it. So I'm being very clear. I do mm -hmm. like them. I support them, but you can feel like what you guys used to feel with the black fellowship. There's a anger. Yes. And I feel like that's like, they play a lot of defense. And I feel like that that's where the disconnect is for fresh and fit. And okay. I feel like when you say defense, what do you mean? Like they, they just real defensive. Like they, they're like protect yourself from getting screwed over by a woman. Like that, that's like their whole thing. And to, and I agree, I get that, but it comes with like this anger, which is mm -hmm. kind of like what the Black Phillips show was. And it seemed like, and you've mentioned this plenty of times. Patrice had more of an anger to it. Yeah. Uh, and then you kind of came and evolved it with the Beige Phillips show. And like I said, I've been you guys twice. I've listened to everything twice. Okay. Wow. Yeah, no, no. I, I take a real. There's a bunch of other guys I listen to, and I'll tell you the story about that. But I think that you guys eliminated the the anger, and I yeah. feel like a lot of, a lot of the red pill space. There's a lot of anger in there. Mm. Yeah, well, that, I, I also, that, that makes the, sense because it's a lot of, especially uh, online. A lot of it is is driven by the youth, the younger generation, and so you have this anger. Whether it's politically, when you're young, there's a lot of, um, and and you want to change the world. There's a lot of anger there that happens, and it, it takes time as you age. The wisdom comes in understanding that anger doesn't solve anything. It doesn't fix anything, as we've talked about. It's, it's, uh, it's almost a useless emotion because it doesn't benefit anything to a degree. But that takes time to figure out that you can dislike something and try to figure out a way around it without being angry. It's hard for that, though. It's when you're young, you're just, you just want to change it, and you want it to be quick, and you want it to be aggressive. I think that's the thing that I've learned about the whole. T tell me if you guys agree with this. I heard the most part, you got to you got to focus to be great at one of these three things, which you have to do physical body, getting your money right or understanding women. In order to be great at one of the things, or, or you have to like put all, a lot of your time. And I feel like do you guys agree with that statement. Wait. OK, so hold on. Well, you, you you bounced out. Hold on. Yeah. OK. You're back. Yeah. Um, OK. So re repeat that again. I so, mean, so, um, so like I, I'll use me for for uh, an instance. I tried to I took a lot of years to put on the, the mental game dealing with women okay. like I, like years, I, you know, with my 10,000 hours kind of like I just told you, I listened to y'all twice. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So. But I didn't put that that much energy into getting my body physical mm -hmm. and i also didn't put that much energy into getting my money right and i okay. feel like a lot of and i heard this not it was kind of profound to me because i'm like that's kind of true because i feel like of all three of those i know women the most at the present moment but i've also put the most time into that and i'm not saying you can, you're like i feel like most people some people can do me do all three but i don't think most people can put Let me, people in harry what do you think of that let me i'm because i'm still thinking about well it. i i think I, I parts of it i agree with because i think you can only focus so much energy at, at one thing but it just depends on how you allot the time or how you space it out so for me i never sat down and made it an effort to to deal with women in the sense of you know when i date that's when i figure out how to deal with women in that process and that's how i examined it i didn't do anything any game prep let's say other than just no, I guess listening and reading things is kind of game prep. Now that I think about Man, it, listen yeah. to let me ask you this: Did you you think yeah. because of that you think that if you had done more game prep, you would have got to your level of proficiency quicker? Me or Chris? Who are you asking? You, you, uh, you. Were. Um, no, I think it's just the just the the practice, the 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 actual having to implement the practice. Uh, I think it would have gone a little bit faster if I had not been so resistant up front. But uh, that's with anything else. You're, you're, it's hard. Anything you're trying what do you to think, change. What do you think was your resistance? Resistant to what or what? What well, was? I your had resistance? a lot of fear. You know, it's just a lot of fear, exhaustion, trepidation, emotional investment. Where it's just, uh, you know, when you're in a down place, the last thing you want to do is take more losses. You know, and but the thing is, to learn, you got to take losses. But it's weird because we don't equate dating and relationships the same way we do anything else. So 
if I was learning how to, you know, skate or like uh, to play hockey, for example, or something, you know, you're going to fall down you're, or, or anything else. When I get up and to do comedy, I, I'm gonna, you're going to bomb. And so it's weird, but we take relationships so much more personal with that, you know, with with uh, taking those steps back or what we feel like is failing. But there's a lot more fear that goes into it. It's very strange. Like, it's a big part of who you are as a human being as a, and a man. So when you get rejected in that sense, it's it seems like it's a lot harder to take. But we don't view that when we're learning something else. If you're learning to cook and you fuck up a meal, it's not as devastating. It's not life altering. But there's something inside you that you feel less than when it doesn't work out with women. And so I think that was my trepidation with it early on. OK. But yeah. Like, you know, I, I mean, like, first, Chris, I want to thanks for the question. It's a dope question. Um, it's not too often that somebody asks me a question that I don't have an answer for. <laughs> um, so I, so I appreciate that. It gets, you know, so I'm, uh, uh, uh my, uh, my brain is turning over. It's rum, 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 rum. I'm cranking up. So here it comes. <laughs> so the car is starting. I was working now. Here's, uh, one of the things that I, I, I just, I recently just did a consultation with a guy, young guy, 23 years old. Great job with Microsoft. He does, he's a programmer, right? Went to school, got his degree, whatever. He's only been with like three girls in his lifetime, right? But he was in three relationships. So he had sex three times and he was in three relationships. And, uh, huh? You said, oh man. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and so he's like, is that, um, he goes, you think that's bad, right? That I've only been with three women. And I go, well, I said, what do you, what do, you do for a living? He goes, you know, I do um, coding and programming. I said, do you think it's bad that I've never made a website before? And he goes, no, I no. Like everybody doesn't make websites. And I go, and everybody don't get laid. <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's a really like, so. But wait, hold on. But everyone has a desire to get laid. Not everyone has a desire to make websites. Um, mm -hmm. not, not to the same extent. I agree. Not to the same extent, but I don't know anybody who doesn't want a website. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, <laughs> anybody, anybody that's doing something and they, you know, they want a website. I mean, usually just, you, you know, so. what they do, they just pay somebody to do it, right? Or whatever. But, um, and if they don't have a website, they got a YouTube channel. They got it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's right, right, right. It's about, my, my point being is, um, like what Harry said to, to what what part of what I think was Harry was saying was true is that there's this there's this um kind of and I think both of you are right in the sense that you know everybody wants to get laid yes and the trepidation is that if you feel like you're in a bad place and you don't want the rejection from women because we take that rejection differently so um but isn't that the answer? And I'll tell you why I think that's an answer, because that's why I wanted to hear what Harry had to say. And I let him finish first, because um, we have an understanding about social dynamics and women. We believe that if we lose at that and we don't succeed at that, we take that as an L. But we don't we, we, we like he Harry plays hockey. So in order to skate, you go on, you put the skates on, you don't expect to be good at it and you, you expect to fall. Right. Yeah. And I think the problem is that um, we don't perceive women in relationships as a skill set. Mm. And because we don't perceive it as a, a skill set, we expect to be good at it. I, I think that in a lot of times we are unfair with our um, we're unfair with how we perceive our proficiency at women relationships and social dynamics in, in general. So, and, and it's, I, I, I was thinking about this today because, uh, I think the, sh the show has become so much more philosophical, right. Rather than practical. And, um, and there's a reason for that, but there's also a, a, a 
uh, I think that to a certain extent, I need to get back to, I was just thinking about this today, that I need to get back to the practical application of that. But but, but I believe that um, philosophy is the basic fundamentals, like every action has to, needs to come from a philosophy, because once you're making mistakes, right, once you're making mistakes, um, and you feel like as though you you can't move forward, right? If you have a phil- philosophical uh, reference to go to, you can go back to that reference and then find the answer or see that how emotionally where we're at doesn't really, it doesn't make sense. So uh, an example is if you have, if you play chess, I'm not a big chess player. I know how the pieces move. I can play, but I'm not good at it. I never really. Um, one of the things about chess, one of the things that you, if you read any chess books, the the is they say to to control the four spots in the center of the board. That if you control the four spots in the center of the board, right, um, that puts you in a position. Just, I mean, if you, if you think about that logically just put you in a position to see everything to affect everything to affect your opponent in any ways. If you go to the center and you, you occupy the center of the board, um, you know, without putting yourself at risk. Um, so something as simple as that, just an understanding of that. If we take that principle, um, you can apply that a principle. That's where I, you know, whenever I talk about true wisdom, true wisdom, yep. <laughs> true wisdom, true. the understanding of underlying concepts, how they relate to situations that seem irrelevant, but, but really not. Meaning once we have an understanding of, and we are wise, we understand that e- the, the things that we master in other situations, we can take those principles and reapply them. Um, so I'm saying that to say this to the question that you're asking about money, women, and what was the other? Physical appearance. Physical physical appearance. Um, If it's all the same, then it's all the same, right? If we understand those principles and we really believe in those principles, then why can't those principles be applied in multiple situations at one time? So I I guess, so so what what my, and I wouldn't say rebuttal, just thought, thought experiment. From my own experience, right. I put a lot of time into trying to understand the female psychology. Right. Because like I said on the last show, a girl hurt me and I was devastated. I put all my value into her. And when it was good, it was I was I was on the top of the world. But when she left, I, my my value went with it. OK, and so then I went searching for answers. I got into the to the, the date what was it like the the space where they're just helping you pick up chicks. What's, I yeah, yeah. Pick up artists. Yeah. The pick yeah. up artistry. And it was cool because they do teach you some things that get you better responses with women. But right, because it's, it's it's sound technical. Hold on, let me plug this in. God, but, no, no, but it's actually, w- once you put the time in, and I guess this go- I'm, I'm going to come back around to this. Sure, man. What I learned is that, or somebody was like, oh, you know what? You should check out the Black Phillips show. Right. And I and I had heard of Patrice O'Neal from comedy, but I never knew about this aspect of what he was doing. Right, right. I, I listened to the podcast, all 10 of them with you. And then y'all brought the y'all brought a bunch of people on. And I was like, man, this shit was like mind blowing to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember I was going to New York and listened to the whole uh, like two episodes on my. Is it is it cutting out yeah, uh, we, we... for a second? But you're back there. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. yeah you you're cut out for a second, but you're good right now. I can still hear you, though. But go ahead, Chris. Uh, OK. Um, so then I, I binged those got really got, got, and I started to implement a few of those things. And then I was like, well, are they done? I know he, you know, he's gone. Rest in peace. Then I went and searched. You came up and I'm like, Oh, he's been making episodes. Mm. <laughs> started binging that. And what I've learned. And again, a lot of time, which is the whole point of this, this, this question yeah, is that the, the little tactics are good and I guess you kind of need to know that for when the opportunity arises, but put yourself in this in this headspace mind, this mind thing where you don't even have to worry about that because you just know you're just in abundance. And I feel like I've learned that and I don't think I would have learned that. Real real game is no game at all. Right. And I feel like I wouldn't have learned that nuance without putting the time in. So Okay. Good Harry, you what's your 
I, go, go, I mean, I, that question is really a good question, like you said, because I keep going back and forth on it because, man, anything you want to do and get get to learn how to do and to change, it like takes comedy. a lot of commitment. Like comedy, yeah, mm -hmm. comedy, you absolutely have to. For y'all, what you, Dante said, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Dante's no, like, it. we won't even take you seriously unless you put 10 years or so. I forgot what the number was as, as a comic. Like, come talk to me when you got seven years or whatever seven the number years, was. something like that, yeah. And so, it. like, can you be great at comedy and making money and women at the same it's time? Hard. Equally, it, it's hard. It's hard. So it's right. really hard. It's possible. Now, I wouldn't. I, think it's I wouldn't hard. say it's not easy. It's not easy. But what I'm saying, what, I guess, what I'm saying is, so we're we're talking about the evolution of this, right? We're really talking about the evolution of this philosophy and this evolution of 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 um of of the this as a movement as more than the techniques field. which yeah what, what that whole so what's <laughs> so what's interesting is if um let okay I'll give you an example one of the things is we say lay the five bricks right mm. now when you first lay in the five bricks I get it it's difficult because there's fear right there's fear there's a fear of of failure there's a fear of losing like what harry says you you, you know you don't want to get rejected you don't want to whatever um but once you at least so i want you if you just do what i tell you to do if you just go out and do listen to what i'm saying pay attention and do what i ask you to do I, i'm not asking you to be creative i'm not asking you to figure it out i'm saying but this you are asking a, them you are asking for them to face a, a little bit of a fear, though, with it kind of like exposure. Yeah, I am therapy. asking you to do that, and I'm make, I'm, I'm, and I expect you to give your word to that. And I understand that I'm also asking you, also asking you to possibly put yourself at risk for being rejected. Now, um, how? Uh, how let me see. You did the five bricks, yes. You went through that process, yes. Not, I don't think I did it with uh, the exact way you did it, but I purposely put myself in uncomfortable situations all the time okay. with women. So let me ask you this. You put yourself, how often did you do that? Not nearly like what I was taught on your show, but I definitely okay. probably did it way more than other people, for sure. Okay. Harry, did you ever do five bricks? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I started out doing it, yeah, five a day. Okay. Five a day for for so I forget how long. Here's it was, my thing. But five a day. So here was something that, something Chris. Great, yeah, right. Well, Chris, the, the first thing is this. So and not only that, but I have refined the system so much. It's so much tighter now in terms of the phases. It's it's, it's literally. I don't even know that when I was doing it, you called it five bricks. So I'm no, trying to think right. if I I think I, I don't know that I did five a day, but I was instructed like you gotta. Okay. Break your so zone. I did yeah. five a day like that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I I did five a day and I didn't really have to do it, but I just I, I couldn't ask. And so, again, this is my point. Like, you know, Harry's successful. You're successful. Nobody did what I told him to do. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> no, nobody did it. Right. I'm the only one that did it. And then we're talking about the question is. Well, could you do this at the same time da, 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 when nobody actually did what I said to do? Right. Um, so my my point being, what if you had done it the way I said? What if you just went out and did it five a day? Right. You, Every I day. Can't, I, can't, I can't argue that at all. <laughs> OK. And let's be honest, as much as you put yourself in in uncomfortable situations, what if you just did the five? What if you didn't seek out these uncomfortable situations? What if you weren't in a conversation with a woman where, you know, she was attractive and you, because you, I know, knowing you, Chris, what you probably did was like, I'm going to say something that I wouldn't normally say. I'm going to go push the boundaries when I, when those opportunities came up. Is That's basically, because I know we had talked before, that's kind of what you did, Yes. Uh, a good amount of the time, a lot of the time, what I do, the natural thing is I, I, for some reason, I enjoy a woman's nails. So like, even if I'm not looking at them sexually, that's like the first thing. If I notice the nails, I'll say something. So right. I remember because I remember you said, make sure you're doing it not for the purpose of 
trying to make a thing, just be authentic in that. Be honest and authentic. Yeah. So I always go for the nails, but not all, not 100 percent of the time. No. OK, so here's 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 the first thing. So there's there's a few. I'll tell you why it works. The reason why it works is, number one, when you do it, the first thing I say is you have to be authentic. You have to be truthful. Right. You have to pay a compliment that's truthful. Second of all, you do it five times a day. The third the third third thing in place it has is to be it it can be girls that you want to have sex with, but it also shouldn't all be girls that you 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 want to have sex with. It should be older women, old ladies, young ladies, middle age, your your mother's aunt, friends, what whatever it is, it should be an array of different women. And that so now let's 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 focus on just that those three things five a day um an array of different ages sizes shapes attractions to women something that's authentic and so you're com- you're, you're you're practicing three things you're getting over the approach anxiety because you're doing it with a level of frequency right you're doing it every day right which also removes the fear right um, second, secondly, you're doing it with an array of different women at different ages, different, you have different interests. And so when you do it, you start to see that all women respond in the same way. <laughs> yeah. The hot ones, the not love with one, the old, the grandmothers that they all see it in the same way. And lastly, we're talking about being truthful, never say anything that's not true. So you're practicing you're practicing discipline, you're practicing authenticity, right? And you're practicing truth because you've made a commitment to me when I put you through the system that you will do this, which is interesting because nobody does it, right? And I don't mean just you guys, but nobody does it. Everybody does a version of it, right? But but there's a reason why those elements are there because it eliminates... All these things, all the all the bumps and the rubs that you have, all of the because after uh, after maybe three or four days of it, right? The first thing you do is you don't feel like you're getting a loss. You don't feel like you're losing. So the thing that what Harry's talking about is you know you don't want to get an L, you don't want to confront the L, you don't want to feel like you're losing, right? You would overcome that in three days, four days maybe because. In your mind, the first thing is that, oh, I'm going to get a response back. That's not going to that's going to be negative. I'm going to do this. and that. But but the first thing you realize is when you do it with any level of consistency, you realize that you never get the response back that you're afraid of. Never. And I mean, I've done hundreds of guys. Nobody. I mean, at the most what people have done in in, a, in in any situation and the most that they've gotten is that they didn't get a response back. And on the first stage, the first thing I tell you is I don't want you to get a response back. Right. So you're not this. It's foolproof. You can't fail. Or if you do what I ask you to do, you cannot fail. You know what? Well, you know, what's interesting, Dante. Yeah. So I, I I got a piece of content I've been making recently where because which because what that is is exposure therapy. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Right? And I know I want to get into public speaking. Right. Right. And I know that you're gonna have to get over that if you know getting over the fear of people's opinion. So there's this thing called the spotlight effect that it's it's a tendency for people to overestimate how other people perceive you and how much they're actually thinking of you. And they did a study at Cornell where they, they figured out that most people think about half of the people that they see is, is looking at them, where in reality, only 10%. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah, like, they don't even notice. They prove yeah. that they don't even notice, and you think that you, it would be obvious that they would notice you. Mm-hmm. And so anyways, I've been doing that myself. So I've been wearing, like, funky wigs in public. I put popcorn in my beard. You know, something that most people wouldn't want to be seen. Right, right. And, and the more I, and I, and I've done four pieces of content on it, and actually three of them went viral. Mm. But what I'm what I'm saying is, is the more I put myself through that uncomfortable feeling of people looking at you a little bit, it yeah. does get easier and easier and easier every time you do it. Right. And nobody. So, you realize nobody gives a fuck. 
And and when you do approach somebody, go ahead, Harry, you want to say something? No, no, it's just psychologically we always think of uh, our importance because we're, we're human, human nature is we're kind of selfish. So we always think of our importance mattering to the world more than it really does, right? So uh, case in point, um, and it's also weird how your, your psychology can affect uh, the view of things, your fears. So for example, here's a weird one. It's somewhat related and... I remember I was at a, a work site, a job that I did, and I fucked something up kind of bad, right? But I had known enough to know at that point you never confess to fucking something up. You just go, <laughs> I didn't fuck it up, right? And if they find you, because there's no, what I learned was there's no, uh, you don't get time You'll get off. You'll no medal. Yeah, you don't get time <laughs> off for cooperating. It's the same thing yeah. with the police. They're going to suspend me. If they find out I fucked up, they're going to suspend me. If I tell them that I fucked up, they're still going to suspend me. So why tell them? Let them find out. <laughs> So I went around that week. I go, they're going to find out. They're going to find out because if you do the research, you're going to see if you look at the cameras or whatever, you're going to find out that I fucked up. And every time my supervisors or bosses walked by me, I was like, I could see and I go, I could see I made eye contact with them. I go, he knows this motherfucker knows he knows. Oh, they're going to call me in any minute now. At the end of the week, nothing happened. Right. And I go, I just spent the whole week mm. so sure psychologically that these guys no, because my frame was negative. My it was a fear. I'm like, so how much of that do we put on ourselves? So that's since from that point on, I was like, oh, there's so much of what we see in other people that we put out there mm. towards other people. Which is so if you go in there going, I'm gonna fail or this is gonna be terrible, then it's going to. That's how you're gonna view it. That's how you skew it. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. You just view it negatively. It's a psychological impact that we put on ourselves. But it makes so, sense. It makes well, hold on, Dot. It makes sense though, because ever since your first memory, you personally have been the center of everything that's ever happened in your reality. So you would have a, obviously a bias that everyone else would think about you as a center too. But they're too busy thinking about their own center, and Dante's thinking about his center. Harry's thinking about his center. So right. But have, but here's what I'm saying. You said it makes sense, right? And then you contradicted the whole fact that it makes sense because it what doesn't make sense. So what I'm saying, if you're saying since your inception, you only see things from your perspective, right? Which is very different than saying, well, I'm nervous because I think that everybody's going to see everything from my perspective, which is the opposite of what you're saying. If you're saying you see things from your perspective. The the e equivalent of that is that he sees things from his perspective. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, e e e e the, so, the, so then how would you describe, why do you think so many people think that they're looking at us? Why does they want to feel ego. That? It's ego. You think you're more important than you are. This is like when a, when a little kid plays peekaboo, when he covers his face, he thinks that the world disappears. So it's immaturity and it's ego because that's what a kid thinks. Because he, I cover him, close my eyes, everything goes away. Because from my perspective, which if you really want to say, ego blocks empathy. Empathy is your ability to see it from other people's position. So what I'm saying is that the, the, the concepts that we're teaching is so much more advanced than even understood previous, just because they're simplified there. It's so much more advanced. Number one, if I say empathy, what I'm saying in essence is to see. So when, when, when we talked about ACE and being authenticity, credibility and empathy, right? Um, truth um, is the basic fundamental. Yeah. Tell the truth. Yes, but authenticity means be your true self, right? Um, credibility also says say what you mean and mean what you say, but it also says being credible it makes you accountable, which is also, and there's a bunch of other adjectives that go under, under accountability. Empathy, as much as it, it, I see things from other perspective, it's, but it also means to reject your ego, right? So... When you boil it down to authenticity, credibility, and empathy, those are those are big umbrellas of words that encompass so many other things that can fall under under that. If you talk about selfishness, selfishness is a lack of empathy, right? 
pettiness is is it and is an is an expression of ego ego is an expression of a lack of empathy like do you understand everything keeps it goes back to those same things so um this is and this is why uh we're not we don't have as many hits because it's this is so much more complicated than just going women are bitches women are stupid watch out for them you know? well because People, guys like Fresh and Fit and these guys, they want, they, 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 it's low vibration shit. It's, it's anger because of the fact somebody who's getting angry because some chick is so goofy and so dopey that her perception is wrong to get angry at her because she's stupid is, is absurd. You understand what I'm saying? That that in itself is absurd. So some go, well, I think that blah, 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 blah. And if you ask questions, even if you get them to see that, they're, why be angry at that? You know, I mean, if you had a, if you had a guy and he had, he was, you know, special needs, you, you wouldn't get mad at him because he doesn't understand the high level concepts. I mean, I, I'm not saying that women are special needs, but I mean, it, <laughs> there is a degree of that. So, <laughs> so, but the the actions itself is are just reflections of basic fundamental principles. So, um, for instance, so so when you say, "Hey," um, you, everybody thinks, you know, from your inception, I mean, like what you said, your, your inception that I see things from my perspective, right? Oh, that's great. But do you understand the ego it takes to make that jump and say, well, I think everybody else sees it from my perspective. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Am, am I making that clear? No, it, it makes it makes complete sense. I'm saying that most I feel like you have to put a, a bit of work mentally to get into that, to even get to that position. I think it takes I think it takes mental energy to come to that conclusion or or basic logic. Well, which we know, <laughs> which we, I, I get it. But, <laughs> and I mean, people who, who are basically logical. I mean, if you exercise basic logic, like why would somebody else see it from my perspective? I mean, you you it, can't. It makes no sense. You physically can't even do that. Like you, but like where? If, where do you? Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, it's just, I'm just curious. Like, where does the anger come from? Is it just youth not understanding? So ego. You just, it's ego, right? It's ego. It's how dare you do this to me? How dare? Oh, you're trying to play me. Oh, you're trying to this. Oh. When the reality is, you know, and no disrespect to Fresh and Fit, I mean, these are younger dudes, but you have young, goofy, unaware women who have you, who have been on the on the basis of their looks, right? On the basis of their looks and what they've experienced, have no empathy, no, no, um, how should I put it? No fail safe. You know, what do I say? Here's again what I say. And, and it just, I guess it's frustrating me because I'm, what do I say? Show the work. Show me the work, right? So at any given time when somebody goes, when one of them goofy chicks, the hot little delicious <laughs> little goofy chicks. The Miami girls. When I, yeah, when I you know, when I meet a guy, he got a blah, 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 blah. And I go, really, what, what would you, really? <laughs> what makes you all you got to do is ask a question and as you ask it here's a funny thing i don't know if you you know sneeko right oh yeah, yeah. he'd be on the show a lot so sneeko is a is a is a disciple of mine like personally when sneeko has a problem when sneeko i haven't spoke to him in a while but when sneeko had a problem he called me up so That's he knows it, so he knows about beige fellow okay Oh yeah. I'm not I'm saying Sneeko's got my name in his phone when he had a problem with his he would call me up and go, yo, let me ask you something. Like we cool like that. Right. And we're cool like that through through you know we met through the internet, but literally we became friends because he's a young dude. And and so when you see you ever seen Sneeko cut these legs, cut them chicks' legs out, like he'll they'll yeah, say he's, something he's, and he'll ask them a question. Right, right. And then there's no answer. 
Yeah, because yeah, no logical answer for damn sure. But but he but he, this is the same thing him and I conversation that we would have, which is well, why would you say that? So it's just like what I'm saying to you, Chris, when you say, like, let's think about it on a physical term. And I, I don't want to maybe I'm going too deep in, but fuck it, I don't you know whatever. You're here, you've been on the show, so let's 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 build. Let's do it. Let's just say visually. In order for you to visually see things from my perspective, right? You cannot, because even if you were standing right behind me, your, your perspective is different. In order for you to see exactly what I see, you have to be in my body looking through my eyes, right? So it's an impossibility for somebody to see things from your perspective. Right. No matter how empathetic you are, even if you're visually empathetic. So what I'm saying is to to think that somebody can see or feel what you feel from your perspective is an absurd notion. At the at the very best, we can be empathetic to understand a general idea of what somebody goes through. Right. But we but we're not in your we're not even when we're talking about just basic one visually, the perspective is different. We're looking at I'm looking at a webcam. The minute I take a foot back, right? My the perspective has changed, right? Just in the physical terms. So can you imagine that when you're talking about hundreds of different, hundreds of different emotional variables and this and that and the other? When, when we're then we're not just talking about visually. So Again, this, this is why the show is what it is, is because this was all thought out. So even if, if, if anybody had just done what, and, and I mean, not just y'all, I mean, I, I get guys to pay me thousands of dollars to, to consult with me. And I go, okay, did you do the five breaks? And, and they, nope. Well, it kind of did this. And I did some on some days and some days. When if you just did what I told, I'm, I'm giving you the blueprint and somehow everybody wants to go off the trail. They they have no success on their own, especially initially when, when I start the first phase. They have no success. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They come to you asking you, please, I'm desperate. Help me. And then when you help them, they don't even do what you ask them on a base level, which is... Well, you know what I think was, was going on, Dante, with that? At, at the first principles reason why why we're scared, why we think that person is looking at me for whatever, I think it's because of our own insecurities as well. Sure. Because, yeah. Yeah, because, because we can't... I, I can see this human being looking at me and I physically cannot know exactly what they're thinking. There's no way. So whatever I think they're thinking is just me portraying what I think about myself. Right. Uh, you're, going, you're, you're, you're displacing. You, you're, you're projecting. You're projecting is the word that we're looking for. Yes? I yeah, think I think so. Yeah. So yes, my, you're projecting. But, but my point is, initially, when you start the first phase and you lay in the five bricks, I'm not asking you to do that. Any of that. Like, right. it's I, I cannot be more clear about what the process is. Five compliments a day to an array of different women. Make sure you're truthful. Make sure you do it five a day, right? And don't worry about the response. I'm not looking for you to do a response. I'm not looking. You're not looking to get a response. And I, you, you can still hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So I think like in, in my case, I definitely did not do the, the five bricks per day. But I think I have equal. I've done all of them in a longer period of time still. So I still got my reps up, but by doing it your way, I could have cut that time down by like 75%. Sure. So Absolutely. Not only that, not only that, but doing it in a longer scope of time also brings in other variables. Waters down also the lesson. Yeah, it's like, as well, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, we've all had chlamydia. Wait, what now? <laughs> chlamydia. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't believe I have. To my you, recollection, you probably did. You just didn't know. I'll have to check the, my old calendars, <laughs> but I, I don't recall. Chlamydia, you get seven pills. Back in the days, there's seven pills you get. If you take four of the pills, 
right? And don't, or, or you don't do it for the full seven days, chlamydia comes back because you need seven days to have a clean bill of health, right? Not only that, but when the, when the chlamydia comes back, it is stronger as it comes back. Why? Because you have now created a resistance to the, to the, to the, the bacteria because you took the, you took the, you took, you didn't take the, 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 the antibiotics for the longer period of time. <laughs> you, so, so there's a reason why they say take these antibiotics for seven days. It, it's 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 not a um, it, it's not an estimation, do you know what I mean? There's there's science to it, so so it, what's interesting is you know I, I I see this all the time. I mean you, you know we you know every once in a while God bless the God bless the dead. We talk about Kevin Samuels and we talk about our Emperor's, Lord and Savior Kevin. Our Samuels. Lord and Savior Kevin Samuels. No <laughs> name above that name. But uh, are, are you guys fans? Did, did you do you did you did you like him or not? I I, I mean, he Both. didn't say anything that we weren't saying before. I mean, yeah. I don't think I don't know anybody that's saying anything that we haven't said. I Honestly, appreciate. I appreciate. No, y'all said it first. Y'all said everything first. Yeah. If you ask me. Yeah, I mean, we predated for sure. I ten years we predated Kevin Samuels for sure. I I liked his ability to be factual with stuff. My only the issue I had with Kevin Samuels was that he wasn't doing anything to actually fix anybody or help anybody. He was just pointing out kind of what everyone else is doing is just pointing out the flaws and the issues. You bitches ain't shit. Yeah, that's what everybody's doing. You bitches yeah. ain't shit. But are, what are you doing to actually fix those those people that you? Okay, wait, 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 hold on. on. Let me let me be fair. So I have put some 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 time into Fresh and Fit, and okay. they definitely help men. I've I've watched men come in and comment. I was gonna kill myself. Stuff like that. They definitely help people for sure. No, and the advice I, I think they have the y'all still hear me? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can hear the yeah, yeah but you keep freezes, freezing every once freeze a little bit, but we can hear you. So keep going. Oh damn! You keep going, Chris, until it, if it gets fixed. But uh, I, I would say that for sure with Kevin. Kevin, oh, Sanders, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Uh, yeah. I can hear you. All right, all right. As long as you can hear me. Yeah. So um, no, so fresh and fit. They uh, they've helped. They definitely people, give saying, you yeah. actionable. For sure, for sure. I, I can't sit there and say they don't help people. Uh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that it didn't help. I mean, I think I think Kevin Samuels helped people also in the context of people who thought that they were crazy about how they were feeling, but like they were feeling disenfranchised or hurt or that they were whatever. And he was. But but what was what is the what? OK, so give me an example of what the. What's the fix? What what was the fix? All right, so Fresh and Fit, their whole thing is the way to combat the fuckery from women is to, to be the best version of yourself, pretty much. I think that's the overall message that they're giving. Get your money right, get your physical right. I never get heard that before. I mean, we should we should say that more. <laughs> no, no y all, y all, y all, you guys for sure say it. I'm just saying that, sure, yeah, they, yeah. that that's the message that they give. And uh, right. so their whole thing is you don't have to tolerate the bullshit if you know you're on top of your own shit, that's their whole kind of message. So they have like money making Mondays. Uh, they have uh, like fitness Friday. So they do give. I, I do have... think all that is great, Chris. I would say the one thing is I feel like they use that. And again, I haven't listened in a while. I haven't watched enough clips and, and all. No, it's not shitting on them. It's just having a discussion. But no, I, no... I, I think those are, the, you know, they're reaching a, a, a grand population of people. And they're, and if this. And if they're taking our message and yeah, <laughs> if they're taking our message and spreading it, uh, I, 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 I mean, I wouldn't say that if I didn't think it yeah. was the message that should be spread, you know. Um, but my thing is, I think they go build yourself better, build, be a better man, and then now you don't have to put up with their bullshit. And, and that's it's where almost, the anger, right? That's yeah, the that's anger. where the anger comes in, and that's also where that you should just be a better man for the sake of being a better man. Not so you can crush women under your under so, your thumb so, as revenge. So let me throw this in there. I, I've heard them say that they say it, sh it should not be about them. But th we're, they're talking to guys where they're only thinking about women all day. So they're they're they're, mm. they're like meeting them where they're at. And fr from what I t they, there is anger. I'm not going to lie. I've said yeah, that yeah. first. But I do think that what they're trying to do is be the best man you could possibly be. I think that is their overall message.
they 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 call themselves like a male a male improvement like site. I, and I, think, I, think I don't even think a... I, I don't even think that they they use the red pill because it gets you some clicks and stuff. But they, I think the red pill almost has this like this like evil to it now. And I think a lot of people are trying to get away from that vibe right now. Uh, most definitely. I mean, there's a reason for that, and it's also it it stems from the the red pill. It's it's anger. It's fury, and so it's about how wrong women are for being women when it really is that's just what they are <laughs> but like, don't it take time to get to that level it's almost like being a master right like if you're karate i agree yeah it takes yeah. time to get to the point where you're that you know wusa so i think when you got hurt and that's how you found this space it's easy to see where the where the pain can come most from. definitely but you, you have also to have work it out i would say this if I, I listen, I'm not going to pretend I wasn't angry with women or annoyed with women and not not understanding it. I may maybe not as furious as these guys were. But what Dante did was go, hey, it's not you don't have to be angry at them. Just learn to navigate it. This is what they're going to do. And the right. thing is this even I'm in a relationship now. And this woman is is uh, is if if this doesn't work, there is no other relationship to work. She's amazing, but I still have to use the same skills that Dante taught me to protect my relationship the battle never ends to a degree but i don't have to be angry and frustrated about it because the same mentality that my girl has and she's an intelligent and a sophisticated great woman it's similar to the mentality of a dumb club girl who is just using her body to get whatever she wants to you know it's the same mentality but i don't have to be angry about it and you're not wrong that takes time to reach that level but you also need somebody presenting you the other perspective which is what dante does which is present the other idea. So I don't know, maybe if I didn't meet Dante, I would have spent another 10 years being pissed off at women and just being one of those guys, you know, like those, the average Joe at a bar going, yeah, you can't understand them. It is what it is. You, you know? live with it, can't live with them. Can't can't live live without. Without. And you know what's crazy? There's so, it's like most men are like that from yeah. my perspective. Yeah. It's like, I see it all the time. And I know y'all see it. Y'all be at a bar with your people. Then you'll see some guy just bombing. And I know, I know Dante, you gotta be this way. Cause I'd be like, I, I'm like inclined. I have to help that man. Yeah. 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 I can't, I, I can't watch him bomb. Like I'm like, yo, come, come here. Come here. Let me can I talk to you for a minute. I, I've done that countless times. Many, many wait, times. It, wait, 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 hold on. And then all of a sudden, have you ever done it in front of the girl? And then all of a sudden the girl's looking at you a little like, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've done it in front. Yeah, and then she wants to, she wants to fuck me too, and whatever. Um, and you didn't I, even do it with that intention. You just were trying to help this guy, and all of a sudden she's like, "Yeah, you know what? He's right." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna. Harry, you were gonna say something. We're done already. Jesus I think Christ. we've. Yeah, yeah, we're done with the regular episode. I think we have to go over to Patreon, and if let's, you guys wanna... let's go behind the scenes on the Patreon yeah. and get into this, dig into this, because it's uh. If you want to hey, check I got, out, the... I got, I got a, I got a good question for y'all too. When we get behind the paywall. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, well, All answer right. the question, and I will answer. Ask the, the paywall. question now, yeah, and we'll answer. All right, so page... it's, it's about storytelling, and what I'm, because that's my new angle in, in my life and my marketing, and I know, and I know, it's like you know, co comedians, comics are really great because they tell perfect stories. So I want to know like your your opinion and give me a little tips, and advice on how to tell a better story. Sure. Ooh, okay. okay. We'll do over, all that over at. Uh, patreon.com slash manschool202 this is in story uh telling terms of what we'd call a cliffhanger chris so what <laughs> you're doing is giving people some reason i did that on purpose too there you go smart <laughs> smart man that's why you're the that's why you're the social media influencer that you are my friend um it's growing yeah. man it's growing no it's good where can they find you chris uh like dante say that you can google me chris mm -hmm. cares none uh but any any platform chris cares none and or cares none.com there we go. And uh, if you want to uh, follow the episode that we're about to do, bonus coverage, and find out the answer to that question, head over to patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where you can come and support us. We do all our bonus coverage over there. And um, also, we you know we do listener mail over there. And uh, another way, if you want to support us, is we also do relationship consultations. I uh, You can reach me, advicefromharry at gmail.com, for rates and uh, times that we can... Fix your relationship, fix your uh, your personal life, whatever you need help with, uh, I'm there to do it. Dante, how can they reach you? You can consult with me, DanteNero.com. Click on consult. You can get me direct. Um, uh, don't forget the Patreon and check out the YouTube channel. Like and share my stuff. That would I would appreciate it. Um, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolution? 
being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all, man. Thanks for listening. Um, see y'all on the other side. <laughs>